Hey my friends, hope you're having a great Friday evening. I had a few of you ask in response to some of my stories yesterday, like what the hell Candida even is, and so I thought I would record a super quick video just to kind of have it and save for you so you could refer back to it at any time. Um, because we do have our Kick the Candida cleanse coming up and it kicks off on Monday. So you're gonna wanna get in on that if you think you have a Candida overgrowth. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you what Candida is, how to know you have an overgrowth, and how to know um, if a cleanse is right for you, and then give you some more information about our cleanse that's happening in case that resonates. So what the heck is Candida? Candida is yeast, and we all have Candida and yeast living in our body all the time. It lives in our GI tract, it lives in our mouth, it lives in our reproductive parts, it kind of just lives everywhere in our body. And uh, what happens is when we are feeding the candida, and again, I imagine them to be like little gremlins. So when we are feeding the gremlins, the gremlins feed on sugar, and lots of things turn to sugar in our gut. So we have the things you think of, like refined sugar. We also have things like potatoes and carbohydrates and natural sugars that we get from fruit. So when we are feeding the gremlins, they grow. They kind of multiply like rabbits. And when we have too many gremlins hanging out in our gut, it totally throws off the balance of what we call our gut microbiome. And that's basically just like the habit habitat that you're creating, the flora and fauna, if you will, in your gut and in your system. This is important because 70% of your immune system is housed in the lining of your gut. So if you have a uh, gut health that's kind of totally out of balance and you are having candida overgrowth, your immune system is going to be compromised, which is super important always, but especially right now in these, in these times. Also, 90% of your body's serotonin, that's the happy chemical, is made in your gut as well. So we have a compromised immune system, we're not making enough serotonin, our hormone levels are off, and it's gonna throw our body into whack. Some of the symptoms that you might see in your body if you have candida overgrowth are things like fatigue, brain frog, low libido, irregular bowel movements, so maybe they're too hard or too soft, if you're not going every day, if you're having lots of cramping, if it's difficult to pass. Um, so anything that doesn't seem right to you, if you have more questions about what is like a perfect poop or good uh, good on the, the bowel movement scale, go check out my YouTube video. Um, I have a replay up on the perfect poop class that I did a couple of weeks ago. That might be really telling for you. Um, if you have any kind of like joint pain that's unexplained by another issue, if you've got some water retention happening, maybe you have some sugar cravings, that's what I've got going on, some skin issues, definitely I've got some skin eruptions happening over the last couple of days, leaky gut, so there's a whole host of symptoms. So it can be hard to determine whether, you, whether or not you have an overgrowth. So here's my kind of rule of thumb. You can tell that you have a candida overgrowth by just a few simple measures. One, do you consume refined sugar, which includes you know, anything you're thinking of, cakes, candies, sweets, also alcohol or coffee with like creamer. Do you consume any of that on a consistent basis? We're talking like five to six out of seven days, right? If you, if you do that and you have two or more of the symptoms that I just kind of rattled off at you, then you, it's very likely that you have a candida overgrowth. There's actually lots of people out there who are dealing with candida overgrowth day to day and don't even know it. Um, and that's totally okay if that's you. That was me too for many, many, many years. Also, another way, way you might know if a candida cleanse is right for you is if you've had some diet changes recently, like, uh, hello, that's quarantine, and if I see it and it's out there, then I'm gonna eat it, right, and consume it. A lot of us have had some diet changes, or maybe you've put on um, a little bit more weight than you would have liked during uh, this, this time of self-isolation. If you um, have been on antibiotics in the last year, I would even argue in the last 18 months, and also you have some of these symptoms and you consume sugar on a consistent basis, you probably also have candida overgrowth. Um, and if it could also be good for you if you are not currently pregnant, nursing, or diabetic. So if you're pregnant, nursing, or diabetic, a candida cleanse is not something that I would recommend. I would suggest you go and seek help from a certified nutritionist, someone who can kind of help craft a plan for you. But a candida cleanse for everybody else, it works really, really well as long as you can stick to it. And I will say, I tried candida cleanses on my own for many years and very rarely was successful in seeing it all the way through. And that's just because it's really hard to do by yourself. I think when we hear the word cleanse, a lot of us get kind of freaked out. We think we're gonna be like running to the bathroom a whole bunch or throwing up, or there's gonna be some sort of like catastrophic thing that will happen. That's not the case with a candida cleanse as long as you do it correctly, um, which is really great. So all we're doing is actually starving the gremlins. So you've got lots of overgrowth of all these candida gremlins, right? So we're gonna starve them out. And that typically takes about seven to 10 days for the average person. 
And what will happen is in our cleanse, we do a full week of prep. So we go grocery shopping and we get meal plans together. I have recipes of a full ebook that I wrote for you that is um, part of your registration fee. So you'll get that. It has all the information that you need to know along with recipes and meal plans and grocery shopping lists and journal entry prompts and all the things. So we spend the whole first week kind of prepping and then the second and third weeks is when we actually do our cleanse. Most people that I work with go into what we call die off around day two or three. Die off is when the gremlins literally start to die because now we've starved them of everything that promotes them to replicate, right? So they start to die and when they start to die, they get really mad and they kind of release these little gases and the gases call or kind cause what we call die off and die off is when you're maybe going to get some head tension happening you're not going to feel so hot you maybe have some low energy um, for me it's intense intense sugar cravings which is no i def how i which is how i definitely know that i struggle with a sugar addiction um you're going to maybe have some like joint issues or just some weird things skin eruptions popping up that happens around day two or three for most people depending on your diet and how things have been going up until this point. So what we do is we do our cleanse, we get through die off, and then we stick with our cleanse for a few more days after, and then we stop. And the great thing about that is for most people, that's all that you need to do. So it doesn't need to be a big 30 day thing. You don't need anything special. You don't need a supplement. You don't even need essential oils. If you have essential oils, high quality essential oils that you can take internally, this will make your process much easier. And part of the ebook uh, that I wrote for you does have essential oil and supplement suggestions, but it's not necessary. It's literally all diet change and mindset help. So a lot of what we do in our three weeks together is like mindset, mindset coaching around um, setting up some healthy habits so that you're not tempted to break your cleanse. So part of our um, Candida group coaching cleanse, we start on Monday, like I said, the whole first week is prep. The last two weeks are cleanse and then kind of like recapping and sort of creating a plan for us to have a smooth re-entry because that can be tricky too. We don't want to go back to like eating all the sugar or eating all the things that were causing candida overgrowth in the first place when we just did all this work to kill them off, right? So we want to make sure that we're guiding our body safely back into a normal routine and setting up new healthy diet plans for ourselves. You'll get four group coaching calls from me. I also have a super exciting thing happening. One of my dear friends is a yoga teacher and she is going to come on and do a very special fifth coaching call for us where she's gonna actually lead us through a 20 to 30 minute digestive yoga flow to kind of support all of the movement of all the things so that we can get through die off faster. That is the goal, right? You get an ebook from me. You'll have open access to me on Voxer, which is a walkie talkie communication app. We'll have a group Voxer and a Facebook group, so lots of accountability. So it's super packed full of value. It's a lot of fun because we're doing it all together. So those couple days of die off might not be so fun, but it's definitely better with friends. And I can tell you from experience, doing it on your own just honestly doesn't work, at least not for me. Maybe it works for you and you're just like super type A and that is your thing. But um, I really struggled staying with it when it was just me on my own. So the link to register is in my bio. I'm gonna post this on my Instagram feed as well on Facebook and YouTube. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out. I would be happy to chat about your particular situation and give you my honest feedback on whether or not a cleanse is right for you because it's not quite right for everybody, right? So let me know if you have any questions and I would be happy to help and I will see you in the Kick the Candida Cleanse. It starts on Monday, July 27th. Bye.